As an Angular developer, you are probably familiar with TypeScript, and perhaps you've seen for yourself how TypeScript allows us to catch bugs when we write our code, as opposed to when it's run. And I've benefited greatly from TypeScript myself, but historically I haven't really taken it too much beyond the front end. And I think this is the way a lot of developers and a lot of teams work. They'll write their front end in TypeScript, but then for a Node.js backend or for some kind of database access, they won't really apply types there. And this is a shame because if we take the same types and share them across the whole stack, we can move faster, we can be more type safe, and we can work across different teams more easily. So I'd like to show you how we can use TypeScript across the whole stack and be type safe all the way down. So we've got an NX workspace here. It's got a couple things inside. It has an Angular application, and then it's got this API. And extending TypeScript to the API, to the backend, can be done really easily if we use Nest.js. And that's what we're using here. It gives us an environment that feels a lot like Angular, and it uses TypeScript out of the box, so we get that type safety we want. And because we're using NX, we can share things across this whole mono repo. And when it comes to defining a base kind of type that we might want to apply across the stack, often it comes down to the data model level. We might want to get close to the data model to think about the type that we would share across different places. And we can start to build this in really easily if we use something like Prisma. So with Prisma, which gives us a tool set for database access and, and working with databases, we've got this schema here. I've got this model called post, which is is effectively a database table. This post model points to something that's in our database as a table. And we can take a look at it if we do npx prisma studio. This is going to fire up a graphical user interface for our database, and it's got some data in there. And what we can get with Prisma are TypeScript types. So if we come over and we do npx prisma generate, and then we go take a look in our node modules. We can go to Prisma, Client, and index.d.ts. And we've got a type called post, which matches up with our model. So this post type can now be used across our application. We can bring it into different spots, and we can use it as we want. So let's start with the API. We can go in here, and let's start in our app service. Right now, this getPost method is returning a promise that is type hinted to any, but we want to get a little bit more specific. Let's pull in post from Prisma Client, and then we can say we want to return an array of posts instead. Prisma Client is really convenient. We can see what's on it if we just do Prisma dots, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff. We've got some Prisma methods, and then it points to our data model here. It points to post, and then we get a list of all of the operations we can do on our database there. So prisma.post.findMany will return many posts. We can save this, and we can go into the controller now. Same thing here, let's pull in post, so we'll do import post, that's the type that was automatically generated, and we'll come, that'll come from Prisma clients, and in here, this will be post array is what's returned there. Okay, so this is now being applied to the API side, to the Node.js side. We want to also apply it to our front end, and that's because it would be really great if we could go into a template here and just start pulling off very specific fields that we know to exist on our data. So let's go into our data service. We'll go into data service, and we want to type in this as that array of posts as well. So because we are in NX, we can just pull in imports directly from our node modules. So that'll come from Prisma clients. And once again, this is going to be an observable of type post array. So we'll apply that there and we'll do the same thing. In fact, we'll just copy over this import to go into our app components, which is where we can apply it to the public member posts here. Observable with post array. So now what we can do is hop into our template and we can start to template this out. So we have access to post dot and the properties that are on our data model. So post dot title can go in that h2 and then we can get a p tag with post dot body. So let's save this and we'll check it out here in the browser. And if we go get posts, 
there's our posts. We have total database type safety across the whole stack. And we are using our base model type to inform us about what's available in the various parts of our stack. If you want more information about Prisma and how it fits into your Angular project, please check out prisma.io. And feel free to reach out on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Prisma. Thank you.